Colin here. A question I used to get asked quite a lot when I was starting out playing guitar and I was around people who were also um, beginning to learn guitar was how do you do this? Pinched harmonics are one of these really interesting sounding techniques. The squeals really accent what you're trying to play, especially if you're doing a lot of rock and heavy metal playing. But being able to do them can sometimes be tricky and a lot of people have problems. I've always been pretty good at pinched harmonics, so I'm going to try and show you how to do them this now. I realise that most established players will already know how to do this, but for a lot of people starting out and really wanting to get into their heavy metal, this is an essential technique and it can be a little tricky to get it at first, but once you've got it, you've got it for life, it's like riding a bike. So I'll show you how to do this right now. The first thing you need to know about pinched harmonics is how to hold your guitar pick. A pinched harmonic comes from the side of your thumb hitting the strings after the pick has done so. It helps you get a relatively thick pick with a sharp point on the end. You want to grasp the pick so that there's a small amount of the pick hanging out underneath your thumb. Not much, just a small amount. That will help that when you strike the string and roll your thumb, you're going to get a bit of thumb touching the string. So the important motion is a rolling motion. You want to strike the string with the pick, and then after that comes over, just brush it with the side of your thumb. It's a difficult technique to show, but it makes sense when you feel it. So go to your guitar right now and have a shot, just slowly rolling the thumb over the string so that you've got the pick, then the thumb. It all happens in this contact point here. So give that practice, just try rolling the pick over the string and touching it with your thumb. My best advice is just play some pentatonics but try and put everything with a pinch harmonic. <laughs> Once you're starting to get to make the sound, then it's when your left hand comes into play to really make things work. You don't have to do this as extreme as Zach Wilde does, but it's great when you've got a pinch harmonic to give it a good bit of vibrato to really bring out the squeal. If you're still having trouble with getting the sound right, then it may be your pick hand positioning. Depending on where you strike the string with the pick depends what harmonic you get. Some places have strong harmonics and some places don't. So if it's not really ringing out, try shifting your pick hand position until you get a really strong scream. into thinking you need a lot of gain on your amplifier to get pinch harmonics to scream. You don't. Go and listen to people like Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top. He doesn't have too much gain there, but he's still getting great pinched harmonics. In fact, don't even be fooled into thinking you need a pick to play pinched harmonics. I'm going to prove to you right now that you just need your hands. So remember, playing pinched harmonics is difficult to master, but once you've got it, it's one of the best things you can possibly have. A recap would be, hold the pick near the end so there's just a small point coming out, and roll the hand so your thumb will hit the string. Make sure your pick hand is in a good position on the strings to get a strong harmonic point. Sometimes gain will help, but don't assume that you have to overdo it to get those screams. But lastly, and most importantly, use pinch harmonics sparingly. They should be there to accent your music, something that when it happens people go, oh, what was that? That sounded great. You shouldn't be doing them all the time, because as soon as you do them all the time, they lose their effect. Use it to emphasise on certain notes in a lick or a run. Um, use them in part solos. You can bend the pinches once you've made them. All sorts of things will sound great, but just remember, use them sparingly. Hopefully this will help you get a hang of pinched harmonics and you can now use them in your music. All that's left for me to say now is keep it loud. See you later guys.